So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can go about making your very first hundred thousand dollars on the internet, right? A lot of you guys, you know, that's for some, for most of you guys, that's a lot of money, right? So I decided to dedicate this video to educate you guys as to how you can go about making your very first hundred thousand dollars on the internet. Now, guys, if you're interested in finding out these strategies and these steps, I suggest you stick around till the very end of this video. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tapolis as you already know. Hey hey guys, I know you are enjoying this video, but before you do anything, click the subscribe button right now. Just click it, click it right now. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to go about making your very first $100,000 on the internet. Now, um, a lot of you guys are most likely expecting me to talk about Forex because you guys obviously know that I'm predominantly an FX trader. However, uh, what you guys don't know is apart from, aside from Forex, I also have other businesses that I run on the internet as well, whereby we sell products and services and stuff like that. So what I do is I like to be able, I like to balance both out. If I'm not trading, I'm running my online businesses. If I'm not running my online businesses, I'm trading as well. Both of them have been absolutely very rewarding. But in this video, I want to teach you guys, um, it has nothing to do with trading. I want to teach you guys a step-by-step -step procedure so that you guys can go ahead and start making a lot of money for yourself. You have to understand that we are just coming right out of the pandemic. For those of you guys who are watching this video, right after this video comes out, probably might watch it a year, two years later. But as at the time I'm shooting this video, we are actually just coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic and people need an extra source of income. People need that, um, people need that breakthrough. People need the steps, people need the formula, people need um, something to look up to. People need to make money period right so i speak about forex all the time today i want to speak about something a little different all right guys so the first things first right the first step you want to go if or rather the first thing you want to do if you want to go ahead and start making a hundred thousand dollars in income or you want to make that first hundred k is step number one you want to decide do i want to first of all you have to understand that you need to provide value to the marketplace before you're gonna get any money you need to provide something, either it's in the form of a service or a product, right? So step number one is you need to decide within yourself, what can I provide to the marketplace? Can I provide a service or can I, can I provide a product, right? So for most of you guys, providing a service will be a lot easier. You guys are probably already, already providing services for maybe the job you're working at, um, you know, whatever, you're probably consulting, blah, blah, blah. So that is a service. Or you can go ahead and say, okay, I want to sell products, right? But for those of you guys who are relatively new to the entrepreneurship space, I I'd encourage you guys to start with services, right? So you want to go ahead and provide a service, um, come on the internet, provide services to people, or you want to go ahead and provide products and sell them on the internet as well. So you need to decide, do I want to do service-based business or do I want to do a product-based business? Now guys, this is a very important question you need to ask yourself. Um, I would suggest you start off with services, okay, before you move into products. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is that services are a lot easier to kick off than products because for products, you have to worry about inventory and where to sell them and all that kind of stuff. But for services, it's just you providing the service to a customer, right? So notwithstanding you can kick off with products okay just saying either of them is fine but step number one is you need to decide am i going to sell products or am i going to provide a service right step number two is you want to package and brand that product or service right so for instance let's say a service um you might be a graphic designer guys i don't care what you do whatever thing it is you do that service you're providing it can provide you a hundred thousand dollars in income regardless of what you do as long as you can provide a service to people on the internet you will because in the internet is the only place you can literally come and scale um your business really really fast because there are a lot of people on the internet you can provide a lot more services to a lot more people from one single location so it's a lot more scalable right so like i was saying step number two is you want to package 
is, is your product or service you want to you want you want to make it look very nice and very attractive and what are the one of the ways you can go about doing this right so if for instance you're providing a service you want to create your brand around that service if you are a graphic designer like i was saying earlier i don't care what you do graphic designer you're a teacher you're a chemistry teacher you're a music person whatever thing it is you do package it and let the internet know that hey my name is uh, john and I'm, I'm a graphic designer right and then you want to come on the internet and start providing services you want to start providing content you want to start you want to let the internet the internet world know that listen I provide services and I'm a graphic designer and this is what I can do. Package it, have a flyer, have a portfolio, have an Instagram page. All these things I'm saying are absolutely free. Use free resources to package your service or product. Now over to the product aspect of things. How do you go about packaging your product? It's very simple. Well, for products, for instance, this is a chewing gum, right? This product, in terms of packaging this product, when you get it from your supplier, from wherever it is you get it from, it's going to be packaged already so what you need to do is for you to be able to sell your product now this is no longer a service for you to be able to sell your product on the internet actually for you to sell both of them either of them you need to have something called a landing page now a landing page is like a page that pretty much showcases all the features and benefits of a service or product so a service can be okay i'm a graphic designer you put your work on there you describe everything all the you know all the testimonials on the page and all that that's a service or a product you might be selling freaking glasses cases right and then you come on the product page and then you write all the good things about it step number two is you want to package it and brand it and make it look really nice one tip i always use is i always like to look at my competitors if i'm pro me i provide services i provide products okay I'm, i do both right so I'm in the best position to tell you which one to kick off with, right kick off with right and how best to sell it okay so you want to package your product very nicely okay make it look really nice and you want to build a landing page a landing page like i said earlier is a page that showcases your products all the features the benefits um all the questions that your potential customers might have you want to list them on your landing page okay if there's a service like i said package yourself if you're the one providing the service you can package your yourself your instagram your facebook around that service if you don't want to do that simply build a landing page and obviously because you need to people need to see the product before they buy you have to understand uh the fundamental rules of buying are people need to know you like you trust you before they can buy from you so first of all they need to know you like you how do they get to know you they know you from your landing page they need to like you how do they like you they need to see everything that's what you're offering and they need to trust you how do they trust you from testimonials everything you put on your landing page they will see it and then if they like it then they obviously buy from you so branding and packaging is so important to selling your product or service all right guys hold it right there this is a public service announcement you're watching this video you want to make money on the internet i've put together a free training click the link below uh, what you can do is watch this video till the very end a lot of valuable information but if you want a step-by-step -step free training as to how you can go about setting up your online business selling a product or service click the link below and i'll see you in the other training so guys go back to this video ensure to finish watching it and then obviously watch the free training and i'll see you on the free training as to how you can actually build your online business so i'll see you guys back in the video bye guys so step number three which i feel is the most important aspect of things is advertising so guys first of all now we have a product we have either a product or a service we know what we want to sell bottom line we know what we want to sell second step is we've we found out how to showcase the product or service by building a landing page step number three is we need to be able to attract people to our product we need to advertise our product right promotion because people equals promotion promotion equals people we need to get and people equals money promotion equals people and people equals money so we need to be able to market and advertise our product or service to the world okay so how do you go about marketing and advertising your products to the world there's something that i like to use i literally call this god's gift to my generation okay it's called facebook advertising powerful I think Facebook and Google advertising and YouTube advertising as well. Obviously, there's Snapchat and Twitter and all that, but Facebook advertising, 
Oh my goodness, if I tell you guys how much we've made from advertising products and services on Facebook, it will blow your mind. So guys, advertise your products or service on Facebook. So how do you go about this, right? You want to create a really nice ad about whatever thing it is you're selling, service or product. Create the ad, okay? Now, once you create the ad, you run, spend a little bit of change running the ad because people need to see, like guys, it's crazy how people build stuff and they just expect people to come. So, hell no. Let me tell you something, guys. The best product is in the, the best product in the market is not always necessarily the best product in the market. The best product in the market is the product that you know. The best product in the market is the product that everybody knows. Everybody knows it because they advertise it. There are products that are usually always better than the best product in the market. But why are people not buying that one? Because they're not marketing it the right way. So you don't even need to have the best product. You don't need to be the best at what you do. Just market that damn thing like you're like it's the best product or service in the industry, right? Facebook ads, run the ad, ensure that when people click on your Facebook ad, it takes them straight to that landing page that I told you to build, okay, that showcases your product. People see it and they click, obviously they click on it and they're interested. So guys, use Facebook ads, use YouTube ads, use Google ads to promote, spend money, promote that hustle, promote that product, promote that service. This is a more systematic way to go in about. All right guys, so step number last, okay, you want to build payment platforms so that you can receive all this money. You don't need to build the payment payment platforms. There are payment platforms that you can integrate to your um, landing page. Where landing page is basically where people see your product or see your service. You want to have platforms that would help you receive payment from customers because trust me, they will come. If you have a product or service and you market it the right way, people will come. And the worst thing is, people coming and you don't have ways to accept the payment. You want to have local bank accounts. You want to have international bank accounts. You want to have payment platforms that people can use their cards to pay. I remember when I kicked off in the online space, we were only doing wire transfer. Like you could only transfer money from your bank account to our bank account, right? But we had a lot of people who wanted to pay with their card. A lot of people were, you know, stressed out. Oh, I need to, you'll be surprised. A lot of people don't have internet or mobile banking. We were losing a lot of customers because a lot of them were saying, I have to go to the bank, I have to go, they never had time and then eventually they were no longer interested in the product. So guys, we lost a lot of money because we didn't have different payment avenues to collect payments from customers. Local bank accounts, very important. International bank accounts, very important. Stripe, you want to open a Stripe account because with Stripe, clients, you can send somebody a payment link, they will use their card to pay for the product or service. And then that's, a, how, that's exactly how you go about receiving payments. So guys, the last step is you want to have your payment platforms available, readily available. Literally, if I go on my phone, the notes section, I have a, I have, um, a tab called payment platforms. I have all the links. So even if you want to pay from PayPal, you want to pay from Stripe, you want to pay from here, local, international, every, once you come in contact with my product, I would ensure that you buy the product. Even Bitcoin, we accept Bitcoin, guys. That's how serious we are about this, this whole shenanigan. All right, guys. So, you know, that's pretty much it. So, right, guys, so let's do a quick recap as to what we've learned today, right? So today we've pretty much learned how to go about, obviously, kicking off that online business that's going to pay us $100,000, obviously how to make $100,000. So like we said, uh, the $100,000 will come, but first you need to, first, step one is we need to identify, do we want a product or service? You pick one, a product or service, you can make a lot of money doing either of them. If you don't know where to get a product or if you don't have an idea, I have a free training right below. Click it, it will take you, you know, give you some ideas and then obviously you can kick off your online business from there, right? So step number one is we need to decide, are we doing a service or product, okay? So once we decide which of them, step number two is we need to package it and showcase it to the world. How do we package it and showcase it? Build a landing page. Have a page that discuss, guys, landing pages these days are pretty relatively free. Build one, spend two hours building one. You can build, it's literally drag and drop. Build it and then make it re look really nice, okay? So we have 
Okay, so let's say we're doing a product. So we have a product that we want to sell. Step number two is we need to build a landing page to showcase this product so that when our customers come, they see it, they, it, it gives them all the information so they don't need to disturb you and ask you, oh, how does this work? All the information that you think your clients will ever need, put them on the landing page. Okay, guys, so step number two is we've showcased, showcased our product. Step number three is what we want to do here is we want to advertise the product okay so now guys you can't advertise something you can't showcase you can't advertise something in your house you want to advertise straight to that landing page go on facebook ads like i said facebook ads is god's gift to this generation everybody's on facebook we go over three billion people your customer reach is endless with facebook ads endless okay so run facebook ads straight to your landing page your landing page showcases your product and service and there you go so use facebook ads to advertise your product or service fourth step is you want to ensure that you have payment platforms integrated to your landing page you want to ensure that you have every single avenue to accept payments in international currency in local currency you want your clients to be able to pay with you know with their bank card you want to also even have a bitcoin wallet because some people they just gone totally crypto. <laughs> Some people have gone totally cryptocurrency on this shit. Okay, so you want to ensure that you have a, a, a wallet to be able to, a crypto wallet to be able to obviously transact with clients who want to pay in cryptocurrency. Now, before I leave, once you've been able to do all this, you start to realize that you start to make a significant amount of money. $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 a month. Once you've built a sustainable flow of clients seeing your products, liking your products, and eventually buying from you. All you need to do is you go on Facebook ads and increase your marketing budget. And that's exactly how you can go from making $3,000 a month to making over $100,000 a month. So guys, there you go. I pretty much summarize how you can go about making $100,000 a month. Um, please drop me a comment. I know this video was quite lengthy. Drop me a comment if you found this video very helpful. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the subsequent videos. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and smash that subscribe button. All right, guys, that's my time. Dapper Willis, and I'll catch you in my very next videos. Take it easy and peace.